Number nine, how many of the following molecules are polar? So I'm looking for polar molecules. So we have ZeO2, we have SiCl2, C2Br2, oh no, Si, sorry, SiCl2Br2. We have C2Br2, SeCl6. So it says um, A is one, B is two, C is three, and D is four, E is all five. Do I have five compounds here? I feel like I have four compounds here. I have one, two, three, four. Yeah, four compounds, okay, that's fine. So let's look at our first case here. So we have xenon, xenon, xenon dioxide. So this here is ZeO2. And if I were to draw the Lewis structure, the oxygen is going to bond this way, and the oxygen is going to bond this way as well. And in this case here, what we're looking at is um, we're going to look at Vesper theory, right? And if we look at Vesper theory here, um, we're we're, we're going to put the we're going to put the xenon in the middle, and the oxygens are going to be on the um, on both sides here. Um, yeah, on both sides here. And as you can see, we have lone pairs on the xenon, right? We have lone pairs on this side here. We have lone pairs on this side as well. So these guys are going to push the, um, the electrons away here. So this is going to be, um, uh, the, this is going to create a dipole moment, right? Because these lone pairs like to, uh, create space in our compound. So uh, what we have here is actually a bent, uh, sorry, a bent molecule. So this here, guy here, this guy will be now, this guy will be polar here because it's not a linear molecule. A linear molecule would have been nonpolar, but in this case here, this is going to push up. So ideally, you actually get something that looks like this here, where the, where the lone pairs are um, kind of uh, taking up space here, and the O's are going to be shifted downwards. So it's going to be a polar molecule. Um, I have SiCl2Br2. So I have silicon in the middle for this one here. And then I have uh, Cl, Cl, I have Br and Br here. And this case here, I have silicon here is bonded to four things, which is great. I have chlorine, which is bonded to um, the silicon and the bromine that's bonded to the silicon. And this molecule here is actually non-symmetrical. And as you can see, this here is non-symmetrical because on first glance, you would think, oh, doesn't the uh, chlorine uh, dipoles cancel out here and the bromines cancel out as well. Well, technically, yes, but what? But because it's not symmetrical, we actually have a dipole moment between these two guys here, right? Bromine and chlorine also have electronegativity difference, although it's not very, very small here. Um, so this here is going to be also a polar molecule. And this here is simply just the Lewis structure of the compound here. So this here is going to be, if you look at, let me, let me look at Vesper theory for you. We can know which shape it's going to take here. Chart. Um, so we have SI, let's see. So we're gonna have four domains here. So it's gonna be AXE, E2, so it's going to be this guy, like so. Um, let's see here. Yeah. Um, so it's going to be a bent molecule, and the reason why is because the lone pairs are going to, again, take up some, uh, some, uh, uh, take up some space here. So it's not going to be a polar molecule. Okay, so, that's, so I have polar, polar, C2Br2 here. So I have C, bond C, and then I have Br2. So Br2 would be, uh, the bromines could either bond to this guy or this guy here. So I'm gonna assume that bromine's gonna bond here and bond here. And then I'm gonna make a triple bond here to uh, to exasperate the, uh, the lone pairs. So as you can see, this molecule here is indeed linear because I have bromine, this dipole cancels out, so I have a linear molecule. 
when we this here is nonpolar, as you can see, it's symmetrical, right? If I draw a dotted line here, it's going to be a symmetrical uh, compound, like so. So the solution here is nonpolar, which is great. And then finally, I have SeCl6. So I have this guy here. It's going to be selenium in the middle, bond to chlorine, bond to chlorine, 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 and chlorine. So I have six compounds, I have six guys here. This is actually going to give me an octahedral geometry. That's because selenium can hybridize to form six bonds here. And this is going to be a nonpolar one as well because the dipole moments are all gone. As you can see, I can write, I can draw a line of symmetry right down the middle here. This, these dipoles are going to, the upper dipoles are going to cancel with the lower dipoles. So this here is also nonpolar. So the solution is correct. Good analysis.